Merry Christmas, everybody. It's that amazing time of year when we get another Doctor Who Christmas special. I can't believe it's actually been a whole year since we had uh, any new Doctor Who. But we got a new one tonight, and I'm just about to watch it. So uh, for this reaction, you've just got me. Um, in the new year, both Carly and I will be back to watch the rest of season one, and we'll move on from there. But for now, you just got me, and I am looking forward to this. So let's get started. Schuster and Siegel. <laughs> now, if you good people will excuse me, this young lady will guide you to the exit. Mr. Broke. Uh, Mr. Broke. Mr. Broke. Mr. Broke. Apparently, we have one more question. Nardal. Uh, where is the little boy's room? No idea how he's still here. I Last time we saw him, he was just the head. The restrooms to the left on your way out. No, not the restrooms. The, the little boy's room. If you successfully locate the restrooms, I think you'll find everything you need in there. Thank you all. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> yeah, I brought snacks. Lock them up, bro. Keep this thing. Looks like a brain to me. Kind of blue, I guess, but that's the fluid, right? Yes, that's the fluid. Tip to glass, sir. What did you say? His eyes. What is he? Yes, sir. They are. Well, he's got to be an alien, of course. I love this. Who are you? Lucy Fletcher, reporter from the Daily Chronicle. Hang on. Why am I telling you the truth? Spooky. Is that looking for a story? I think I just found one. Break through the lines of the road. No one will believe that. This is America. Who are you? Special Agent Dan. Dangerous for Scotland Yard. Scotland. The Doctor. For sure. See, they've got institutes all over the world. They're always in capital cities. Yep. Yes, yes they are, see? New York's not a capital city, is it? Tell me to point out the mistakes, that's not what you're for. Washington's got its own one. Uh-oh. I would call security, but they might leave you alive. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, they're deliberately corny. <laughs> no man worthy of the title leaves a baby alone. How'd you find me? I tracked the gem servant site. Grant, Grant, this is insane. Look, I'm me, the doctor, and even I think this is insane. Even him? I can go. Of course you can't. When do you sleep? Why don't you know I'm cold? How complicated do you need your life to be? Well. Not as complicated as it's about to get. Uh, we're in here, Mrs. Lombard. Oh, Jennifer. Look at you. Up again. Did you ever sleep? Oh. 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 Let's work. What are you doing here? We could ask you the same question. But it's your apartment, so we probably won't. Well. <laughs> uh, I'm not shy. I just can't stop it. Can't stop what? The X-ray vision. <laughs> I'm in hell. <laughs> I just can't look at people. Just the gemstone. Just bother to keep it here. Hey, Grant. Hey, Lucy. How many souls does a multinational corporation's true purpose is to extract from a place the brains of key authority figures from around the world and prepare Earth for full colonization? <laughs> what has Harmony Shoal got to do with the ghost? You don't work for an agency, do you? Don't I? You're not used to being spoken to like this, which means you don't have a boss or an employer. So why are you investigating Harmony Shoal? What's in it for you? I like to keep busy. Why? What happened to you? Nothing. How about tomorrow night? For what? The interview. We could get dinner. Dinner? Do you eat dinner? Of course I eat dinner. Okay, then. Pick me up here tomorrow night, um, eight o'clock. I'll wait for you on the roof. Multinuclear organism. Functioning as an infinitely adaptable, independently functioning, peripatetic central nervous system. Good to keep an open mind. These seem very much the same as the one guy we had in the Husbands of River Song. What have you got planned? A little. He's not supposed to be using those powers. He made a promise. Well, at the time, no promise never to interfere in the affairs of other peoples or planets. <laughs> I got your head back on. Do you have a <laughs> girlfriend? Boyfriend? Well, there has been speculation. You do fly around New York dressed in rubber with a big G on your chest. Are we very slightly <laughs> stereotyping here? I get it. There's some stuff he'd like to keep private. It's a good plan. I like it. How come our side though gets plans like that? The humans have no plan at all. <laughs> That's why you're wrong. They have the same plan they always have. What plan? Me. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Don't do that. Die. <laughs> oh, he left it a bit close. Oh. He's the doctor. He's very brave and 
He's very silly. And I think for a time he's going to be very sad. But I promise, in the end, he'll be all right. I'll make sure of it. The Christmas specials are always interesting. They tend to push to the sillier side or the more childish side. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not entirely sure how well this one worked. I'll have to watch it again to, to really decide. But overall, I didn't mind it. I liked it. The, the corniness and the cheesiness of the superhero story was clearly intentional and that makes it somewhat okay. If it was accidental corniness, that wouldn't have been very good. I did like a lot of the references to actual uh, superheroes. Um, that was kind of cool. The The story between, uh, you know, uh, Grant and uh, and the girl, that was, it, was, it was okay. I mean, that's your typical superhero hiding his identity kind of story. Um, the Doctor had some good moments. Uh, it was interesting to see Nardal back. Obviously, they dealt with the fact that he was just ahead before by you know explaining that the Doctor reassembled him. Uh, basically, I guess, to keep him company. Um, Nardal was funny. It was good to have Nardal around. The Doctor, he was good. I... I I enjoyed the Doctor. He had some really good moments, uh, very Doctorish moments. I did really like the Doctor's speech at the end, where he's talking about things end, and that's sad. That's always sad. But then things begin again, and that's happy. That, to me, sums up, I guess, my view of, of the Doctor, and I really liked it. And then Nardal added to that, you know, the Doctor is very brave and very silly, and for time he's going to be sad, and but he's going to be all right. That summed up the Doctor as well. So overall, I liked it. Um, not necessarily my favorite. I was worried that it would, could be a little silly because of the subject matter with the superhero. Um, but they managed to make that work. And uh, yeah, not my favorite Christmas special, but it was good. Oh, now I'm really looking forward to season 10. They had the preview for season 10. That looked amazing. Uh, I'm really excited to see how Bill interacts with the Doctor. Looks like Nardal's going to keep around, for, uh, stick around for a little while, so that's kind of cool. Uh, it looks like they're going to have some really cool adventures in a lot of really cool different places, so that's also nice. So I'm looking forward to Season 10. No idea when it actually starts yet, so uh, we'll still have to wait for that, but uh, I'm really excited. So Merry Christmas, everybody! Hope everybody has a very happy new year.